starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Yes, sir. What I learned at that fire convention in Capital City sure opened my eyes. In what way, Ed? Well, fire prevention, for one thing. We've been dragging our feet. They got programs that this town never even heard of. I think Calverton's doing just fine. Sure. That's because nobody ever stopped to notice. Take this fire truck, for instance. Either one of you ever take a good look at this? I suppose you're going to tell us we need a new one. Uh, you've just come back with a lot of big city ideas, Ed. I don't think we need a new fire truck. And I won't contribute one buffalo nickel. Well, I brought back some literature from Capital City that say it a whole lot better than I can. I'd like to read it, Ed. Well, thanks, Paul. It's over at the store. I'll be right back. <laughs> He's just trying to make his job a lot easier at our expense. Now, Charlie. Ed's worked hard. And he's never stinted on any of the time that he's given to the volunteer fire department. Then why is he giving us this big pitch? Well, like Ed says, this old engine served a lot of time. Yes, and he's talking a lot of money. Look, a major fire would cost more than a whole new engine would cost to buy. Now, at least we can think about it. That's all I ask you to do, just think about it. Well, I'll think about it. Well, I'm going to make some recommendations to the council, and I could use some help. Here, read this. No expense to the taxpayers, Charlie. I pay for this myself. What this town needs is a man with an eye towards saving money, not spending it. Looks like I didn't make much of an impression on Charlie, did I? Yeah, I guess Charlie likes to hear himself talk sometimes. Yeah, but he holds a lot of weight with the council, too. I'm all ready, Dad. Well, you sure about a lot of stuff. It's all for school. Well, any change left? Oh. You can take the candy bar out of my allowance. No, I guess not. This one's on me. Gee, thanks, Dad. Mr. Washburn, are we going to see some fire prevention films tomorrow at school? Sure are, Timmy. Great. It's better than doing arithmetic. <laughs> well... I'll read this over tonight, Ed. Come on, Timmy. Bye. Every year, more than 11,000 lives are lost due to fire. Now, it takes three things to make a fire. Something to burn, something to ignite it, and air to keep it going. And most fires are due to carelessness. Shh. It's only a movie. Now, one out of every five fires of known cause is of electrical origin. Accumulated rubbish, open paint and kerosene cans, faulty electrical wiring, overloaded fuse boxes. Many causes, one effect, one result. A disastrous fire. Craig and Timmy, will you please raise the blinds? Lassie, wait for me out in front. Now, these booklets I'm going to give you go into great detail on pointing out the fire hazards found in and around the home. Be your own fire inspectors. Well, Lassie, that takes care of the Cahill farm. It checks out fine, except for that loose wall switch. I think we have time to check one more farm before supper. Let's go over to Mr. James. Come on. Mr. James? Mr. James? Maybe he's in the barn. Come on. Lassie, 
This barn is full of fire hazards. Open paint and kerosene cans, oily rags, old papers, and loose electrical wires, and animals all over the place. I guess Mr. James has been so busy, he hasn't even thought of a possible fire. I've got an idea. Let's move all these animals out of here and clean the place up for him. Come on, girl. <laughs> James might be mad. What's going on here, boy? What are my cows doing out there? I brought them out of the barn. You? Yes, sir. I was going to... Never mind what you were going to do. Right now, you're going to herd those cows back. Yes, sir. Come on, Lassie. for yourself. I'm sorry, Mr. James. But Lassie and I, we were just trying to help. Help? What were you doing in my barn in the first place? We were just trying to clean out fire hazards. Fire hazards? Yes, sir. Mr. Washburn, he showed us a fire prevention film at school yesterday, and... Washburn? So he's filling you kids full of that nonsense now, huh? Did he send you out here to work on me? Oh, no, sir. Well, he's going to hear about it anyway, him and his fire prevention. Charlie James had a talk with the mayor and some of the town council. He says that Ed Washburn is getting too big city. Says we don't need a new fire engine. What we need is a new fire chief. Oh, no. But it isn't Mr. Washburn's fault. It's all mine. You know, you'd think that Charlie would want to thank Ed for being the volunteer fire chief all these years instead of giving him trouble. Well, we can just hope that most of the members of the council are on Ed's side at the next meeting. Dad? Can I ride into town tomorrow? What for, Timmy? To talk to Mr. Washburn. I want to apologize. I think it's a good idea. Thanks. Ah, believe me, Timmy, it's not your fault. This thing's been building up with Charlie. He's been sputtering his fuse at me for a long time. But I'm the one that really exploded it. Yeah, it could be. But if it hadn't been for what you did, he'd have found some other excuse for getting me fired. French. You know, he really got mad when he found out you were bringing us kids into the fire prevention program. Yeah, I heard about that, too. But to me, it's good education. You know, Timmy, some cities even have organized junior fire marshal clubs. And old Charlie wouldn't believe it, but those kids are responsible for saving a lot of lives and preventing a lot of fires, too. Do you think he'll really be replaced as fire chief? Oh, I don't know. But after I have my say with the mayor and the council, they'll make up their minds. Mr. James has been busy with his barn and all. Do you think it'd do any good if I went over to his house and asked him if he needed any chores done to make up for what I did? Well, it couldn't hurt. Might as well try. Timmy, anything worth doing is worth a try. Thanks. We'll get right over there. Come on, girl.
But you put a call into Mr. Washburn quick. Charlie James Barn is on fire. inside? No, sir. Lassie and I got Mr. James and the rest of the animals out. He was like this when he found me. Be all right. Here, Paul. 
work on Charlie, will you? Charlie, we lost the barn. We just did manage to save the house. The tank went dry. You know, Timmy and Lassie just got you out of that barn in time. You're a lucky man. No, I'm a dang fool, Ed. That's what I am. I did all that talking, no listening. Thank you, Timmy. You too, Lassie. We better get you into town and let the doc look you over. All right, Chief. Ain't that hand steady enough? Steady enough for what? For check writing, Ed. I learn hard, but I learn. Calverton does need a new fire truck, and that's a fact. I want to be the first one to make a contribution. And, sir, if I have my way, we'll keep the same old fire chief. Well, I'll go for that, Charlie. When I get back from town, Timmy, I want you to bring over that fire hazard checklist of yours. I'm going to check this place from top to bottom. How about it? I sure will, Mr. James. I sure will. Come on, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> 